So here's how I plan to thin slice polar coordinate introduction right here. Check this out. Here we have uh, points R, theta plotted here. We have five of them. So I want the students to study, see what they notice, and then see if they can plot these four. Notice R and theta are both positive here. It's the easiest kind, but easiest version, I should say, right? But over here, we make one little change. We have R being negative now. And I want to see if students can figure out from these five points, if they can figure out that when R is negative, you go in the opposite direction of the theta you're supposed to point in. So once they see this, I'm going to ask them to try to plot these on their own in their thinking groups, right? In the next, in the next uh, slice right here, next task, we are given R positive, theta negative for each of these five given points, right? I want to make sure they can remember that uh, when theta is negative, we're going clockwise, right? And then I'm going to ask them to plot these five down here in their thinking groups. And then we take the ingredients of, t of thin slice two and three, and then we throw in the four. Here, R and theta are both negative now. So can you see patterns here? And then plot these points right here, right? And then uh, summarize it all up in task five, right? Hey, notice guys that the uh, polar coordinate representations for any location are not unique. There's infinitely many ways we could write uh, polar coordinates for a single location. So uh, here's point B and point C. Can you write four equivalent representations for B and four for C and see what you come up with? So doing this next period, we'll see how it goes.